Right, this is Mike. I'm out doing a little hunting today with my friend Jeff over there. And we're hunting a cold weather spot here. It's Missouri. Got some freezing rain and you can see all the ice and stuff on the grass. So it's really cold out right now. It's like 24 degrees. And uh, my first dig here is a zinc penny down about five inches. Not a good sign starting out being that deep anyway. So we'll keep going and see what we can get here. It's pretty cold, 24 degrees and ice on the roads. It's real slick out. The ground's pretty pretty hard. Once you get past that first inch or two, you're all right on the grass. So see what we can get here. On to the next one. Well, I just popped this out of the ground. I think it's a silver earring or either it's silver or it's junk. They come up with silver on the machine reading. But I think that's what it is. See, it's got a little pendant thing on the back. But I'm gonna call it an earring. And I ain't for sure, for sure if it's silver or not, but they come up like that. So we'll, we'll call it silver for now. But I believe it to be an earring with a little video stud thing right there on the back. That's cool. And on to the next one. Well, finally got a wheat penny here. I think it's in the 50s. Yeah, I think it's a 54. I can't read it. <laughs> My eyes are terrible. But first wheat of the day. It's cool. All right, go on to the next one here. Nose a little runny here. It's kind of cooled out still. See all the ice and stuff on the sidewalks and stuff. It's kind of dangerous on concrete still. Uh, had major accidents last night here in town. So put the dirt back in the hole. Make sure there's nothing else in there. I don't think there is. All right. Let's see if we can get another one. Just pop this old Jefferson nickel out here. Looks like a 1941. So it's two years off Buffalo. Too old to be a war nickel. He's down about six inches or so. Anyway, a pretty good find. A couple years older to been a Buffalo. So on to the next one. When I looked down, I found the other earring. Let's try the other one. That's kind of weird, having two, two earrings. They must not have wanted either one of them. Throw both of them away. All right, on to the next one. You guys, I just dug this bullet, I think. I think it's a pistol bullet. I'm not sure. It's got three stripes on it flattened out. Um, I'll have to investigate that. I think it's a bullet. Just a bullet of some sort. So anyway, there's something different. Let's see what else we can get. And here's one that's frozen to the dirt. It's a penny. Probably a new one. See if we can pop that back off here and see what it is. There it is, it come off. Wasn't very deep. And it's a memorial. All right, so that's cool. Wasn't very deep though. Grounds froze. Well, guys, I just dug this uh, handle to a toy gun. That's pretty cool. I'll clean it up. I don't know if it's a wood handle or what. It's iron. You can see the iron stain there on the clod. That's all right though. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Jeff there just dug an Indian, 1904. So that's a good find. That's awesome. This yard been hunted before, so it picked out of a hunted out yard. They must have missed it before. So on to the next one. Alrighty. 
Cool, I just got me a second weed of the day here. I think it's a 45. All right, I'll clean it up later. On to the next one. It's awesome. I just got this handle here. And it's a older one off of a, probably a, some sort of uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about, box or something. <laughs> Get lost train of thought there. All right, well, it's down pretty deep, so I think it's pretty old. It's kind of cool. All right, see what else I can get here. It's all the way to 27 right now, so it's still cold out. Lots of ice on the ground. Ground's still frozen, about two inches deep now, three inches, depending on where you dig. Let's see what else we can get here. And guys, look at that, I just got this old spoon handle. It's not silver or nothing, it's down about five inches or so. That's uh, pretty old though, broke off. Pretty neat. Let's see if I can get something else here. All right, guys, I got me another wheat here on the sidewalk strip. It's at 44, I believe. 1944. So, there we go. Yep, 44. I'll clean it up later. I got my first older coin of the day here on the sidewalk strip. 1919 Indian or a wheat head. I'm sorry. That's pretty cool Go on to the next one Hey guys, I'm back again with the cleanup I'm doing a mic here doing a little digging Got to show you a few things here It's been kind of rough on me. I've not had a lot of opportunity to hunt uh, But I've got to show my little oh my little Lily, she's my little dog. And she may get on TV every once in a while, but you can see she's scared to death of the film. Love her to death. Anyway, let me get on with the cleanup here. Went hunting a little bit, and I've been hunting with my friend Jeff, and we've been hitting quite a few houses. And sometimes it's hit and miss, you know. Sometimes you find that opportunity where not been hit very much and you really find a lot of good targets and then sometimes it's kind of slow so this is one of those days where they were far and few between found a few good items but that's part of it so let me go through this real quick on this hunt and show you what I found probably one of the neatest things I think is this handle from an old old toy gun I love stuff like this this is stuff that, you know, some kid was playing with this many years ago, I can tell you that. Maybe dropped it, lost it, whatever. But it's definitely cool. There's not much left there, but that right there is something I really, really like, believe it or not. The old spoon relic, you know, somebody else would say, well, that's just junk. But to me, it's got a lot of history. You know, a lot of people ate with this at one time. As a part of somebody's family, it's really neat. These things like this are really, really hard to describe because they're all, to me, antiques or got history. This old handle could have been a part of a chest, maybe even a casket. You know, you just don't know, but it's really a neat item. <clears throat> it shows that somebody took the time to make this handle and make it into something to use. So, really like this kind of stuff. And the relics to me are as, as really neat as the coins because they're unique. So, anyway, let me get on here. I've got a car top here, it looks like. It's probably something that would not be in risk very many people. And it's not that great an item. I tumbled most of these coins. This is a piece of metal of some sort. And you know, like I say, some of this stuff. You know, it doesn't have any value, but it's just neat thinking about where it came from, what people did with it at one time. It's really, really, really interesting. Um, I've got eight zinc pennies and one little dinky washer here. 
I've got three nickels. The oldest of the three was a 1960, which if you think about that, that's 50, you know, 54, 55 years old. It's fairly old. You wouldn't think of that that way, but it's getting up a few years old now. Of course, I'm getting a little long in the tooth myself. Got the old uh, clad dime, which I'm good at finding those. They're not silver, they're clad. Couple old uh, building memorial pennies here. Some of the people that watch me say these are not, uh, they're Lincoln, but they are memorials and they are the ones that are not zinc made. They are copper. The old cap off of the end of like a trike or something. I think all of us that have put toys together around Christmas have seen these. And I think you know what I'm talking about. I uh, got a little light end here. Probably a relic, piece of junk. Probably end up throwing it away. But it's pretty neat. I mean, it's just something that uh, you don't see this stuff anymore. This is not, you can't get this anymore. Uh, of course, you got the old end off of the old... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's the end off the old pendant. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty neat. An older bullet. Not real old, but it's been shot. It's got four rings on it. Don't know the age of it. It's not got any patina on it. It's got a little patina starting out there. You can see that. Just a slight bit. Then we go over. Let me turn this other light on real quick. I didn't realize it was off. It might make a little difference. There we go. A little more light. <clears throat> I've got two earrings. Now usually you only find one, right? But this time I found two. And they're cheap, inexpensive earrings. So there's one. And the other one, right here. Got the stud on the back. So evidently, whoever was wearing these didn't like either one of them because they were both thrown in the yard as trash and they are they are trash but kind of unique finding two in the same yard the same type earring uh, got a 1959D the first year of the Lincoln penny that had the memorial back on it and it's in good shape and these are really unique because these had the high relief on them and they're, they're you know they're, just, they're pretty neat I mean they really are the older ones didn't come through. If you ever look at a Lincoln penny, I don't know if you can tell it or not, right in the middle is Abe Lincoln sitting in his chair. You may not be able to see it in some of the newer ones, but you got to really hone in on it. But right in the middle of the columns is Abe in his chair. A lot of people don't know that. 1958D, which was the last year they made the wheat scent. So, I've got the first year of the memorial scent, and I've got the last year of the wheat scent on this hunt. Pretty neat. So we've got back to back here. We've got a 58 and a 59. We got the last one here and the first one there. So that's pretty neat, guys. First and last, or last and first. Then we come on to the war era, 1944. Getting towards the end of World War II. Coming right out of the steel age. Coming back to copper. So the war effort was doing real well. And they decided they could go back with the copper coins. And that's in 1944. Then the year the war ended. World War II, 1945D. About a 70 year old coin. 65, 70 years old. It's getting up a few years now. And the old one of the day was the 1919 Memorial, or excuse me, <laughs> Lincoln scent. Sorry about that. It's a plain. These are so common. I have found so many 1919s. It's ridiculous. But you can see that's another 1919 with some green patina on it. And uh, well, I'll tell you what, I just, I don't know. They're real common, the 1919s. Don't know how many of them 1919s I've found. Anyway. <clears throat> That's it for my hunt. I hope you enjoyed the wrap-up. I'm trying to get a little bit more energetic in the wrap-up and try and do a little bit more detail. And hopefully uh, some of you people out there, you know, 
see this and I kind of encourage you a little bit to go out and hunt and whatever. You know, one person's trash is another person's treasure. And for me, all this stuff is treasure. I don't care from the smallest piece of junk to the biggest, nicest coin. Everything's got history. Everything's got treasure. So, I don't sell any of my items. This is all stuff that I keep. And it's just, uh, just memories, I guess, right? Anyway... Y'all get out and hunt. We've got some nice weather in Missouri here for the next week. Then the weatherman said a big bad no-no. And he said snow, snow, snow. And I don't mind hunting in the cold. But I don't like to hunt in six to eight inches of snow. So we hopefully won't get that. It takes an awful lot of cold here in Missouri to freeze that ground so deep you can't dig. So anyway, you guys get out there and hunt. This is Mike. On to the next one. I'm out.